Hello everyone. Uh, in MRC Mathematics, uh, we have to, uh, the subject is ordinary differential equation and we have to solve the, find all the solution of the following equation. So that uh, question is y double dash plus y equal to secant x. So first we have to find the characteristic root that is p of r equal to uh, or y double dash is written as r uh, and uh, y is 1. So equal to 0 for characteristic equation we have to equate to uh, consider as a homogeneous equation. Homogeneous equation means uh, after equal we have 0 so that is uh, r square plus 1 equal to 0 and if we take the root means uh, r square equal to minus 1 r equal to root of minus 1. The root of minus 1 can be written as uh, i and uh, if we take the root means we get plus or minus so r equal to plus or minus i uh, so in uh, complex form we can be written as uh, cos x plus i sin x so in the term of uh, pi of x we have to find means we written as uh, constant term plus this uh, that phi 1 of x is c cos x and phi 2 of x is sin x so our pi of x is in the form of pi of x is in the form of c1 pi1 of x plus c2 pi2 of x. So here c1 is as it is and pi1 of x is nothing but cos x and pi2 of uh, and here c2 as it is and pi2 of x is nothing but sin x. So c1 uh, cos x plus c2 sin x. So we have to find the particular uh, form uh, psi p that is uh, uh, in homogeneous equation, we have to find the characteristic root and we have to substitute if the roots are distinct and equal means we have separate forms. But in a uh, non-homogeneous equation, we have to uh, find a solution of non-homogeneous equation that is equal to a particular solution that is here. The particular solution plus solution of the homogeneous equation. That means we have to find psi. The psi means we have to... Um, find what we have to find means psi p plus uh, homogeneous equation combination of homogeneous equation that is c1 pi 1 x plus c2 pi 2 x so for that we need to find uh, psi p that psi p can be written in the form of uh, function it is uh, variation with function so that means uh, uh, u1 pi1 of uh, pi1 plus u2 pi2 here the u1 u2 uh, satisfy means its derivative also satisfy the equation so what we return means uh, instead of u1 we have to place u1 dash and u2 we have to place uh, u2 dash that is u1 u1 dash of uh, we know that pi1 of x is cos x so that is cos x plus u2 dash and pi2 of x is sin x sin x equal to 0 uh, this is considered as a first equation and the next equation means we have to differentiate this with respect to x. So u1 as it is, if we differentiate the cos x means we get minus sin x. If we differentiate the sin x means we get cos x. So minus u1 sin x plus u2 dash u1 dash sin x plus u2 dash cos x equal to uh, where we written secant means after the equal terms we in a question we know, know that is a secant x uh, so that is uh, we written that secant x so consider this as a first equation and this as a second equation from this what we have to find means we have to find the u1 u2 but here what we have means u1 dash and u2 dash we have to find u1 dash and u2 dash and then we integrate means we get u1 and u2 so so we have to uh, simplify these terms uh, for here there is no um, if we replace this means uh, cos x sorry if we multiply with cos x means we get this term u1 dash cos square x plus u2 dash sin x cos x equal to 0 and this term we have to uh, multiply with the sin x means we get minus u1 dash sin square x plus uh, u2 dash cos x sin x equal to secant x sin x so if we cancel this term means we get this as u1 dash equal to minus secant x sin x so secant x can be written as 1 by cos x so u1 dash equal to minus sin x divided by cos x. So uh, we don't want u1 dash. We only need u1. So for that we need to integrate. Uh, integrate means a derivative uh, cancelled. Integration and derivation getting cancelled. That means u1 we get. And here also uh, what we get means here there is a form integration of f of uh, integration of f of f dash of x divided by f of x equal to uh, log f of x 
this is in the form of if we take this cos x means if we differentiate means what we get cos x if we differentiate means minus sin x so here minus sin x is in the form of f dash of x and this is in the f of x so log f of x is the solution so here is log cos x is the solution for u1 so then uh, we have to multiply the first term with the sin x and second term with the cos x means we get this form and uh, uh, if we cancel the terms if we cancel these terms and we get means what here means u2 dash into sin square x cos square x only having so we know that sin square x and cos square x are equal to 1 uh, so the simplified term is sin square x plus cos square x equal to secant x this is the uh, form and we know that sin square x plus cos square x equal to 1 so this term go, goes out and u2 dash equal to secant x cos x and secant x can be written as cos 1 by cos x so it get cancelled means u2 dash we want only u2 not u2 dash so we have to integrate u2 dash equal to integration of dx equal to equal to x so what we know, need we have to find the psi p the psi p is the form of u1 psi 1 plus u2 psi 2 we already know that psi 1 and psi Pi two, uh, pi one and pi two, and uh, here u one is nothing but log cos x plus uh, what is the pi one cos x plus u two is x, so x pi two is sine x. So what is our solution? This is the psi p. Our uh, non-homogeneous equation is psi equal to psi p plus c one psi one plus c two psi two. For that, what is our psi p? Psi p only we find out this. So written as it is, and uh, c one is uh, we we not we are not able to find so uh, place as c1 and what is our pi1 pi1 is cos x c2 what is our pi2 pi2 is sin x this is the form uh, to solve the equation hope you all understand and thank you